What's up? I'm Van, and today I want to go through this question here. We're going to find the real and imaginary values of x for this equation. So this was from one of my comments from Shyamali Basu. So thank you for the question. And this one here, it was a bit of a strange question, but the first thing that jumped out at me that made this question a little bit simpler was I thought about this expression here reminded me of a quadratic equation in the form of u squared plus 5 times u minus 36 is equal to zero. But in this case, I would say something like u is equal to x squared minus 2x. And if I had to factor this, I would factor this as u plus 9 times u minus 4 and set this equal to zero. So thinking about it in simpler terms then allows you to take this complicated equation here and break it down into something nicer. So the process is still the same, that I have two factors that are going to multiply to zero. And I'm going to have a plus 9 and a minus 4. But then the only catch is that instead of writing x plus 9, x minus 4, is that the entire term being squared is x squared minus 2x. So in a sense, I'm replacing the u with x squared minus 2x. So I'm going to have x squared minus 2x plus 9. And then I would have x squared minus 2x minus 4. So really what we have to do here is we have to find the roots of both of these quadratic equations. And then we'll have the solution to this problem. So let's start with the first one here. So if we set x squared minus 2x plus 9 equal to 0, what we're going to have here is we're going to use the quadratic formula. So this is going to give us x equals negative b. Our b term here is negative 2. So we're going to have 2 plus or minus the square root of. And anytime your b term is negative, it's always good to write it in parentheses so you don't make a sign error underneath the radical. But I have minus 4 times a times c. So just writing the coefficients in place, all divided by 2 times a. So now here, all we have to do is simplify. We have 2 plus or minus, And this is going to give us 4 minus 36. And 4 minus 36 is negative 32. So right away, I could see that first equation is going to give us imaginary roots. And if I solve this on the side, the square root of negative 32, I could take out that negative as i. And then if I factor 32, I could factor it to 16 times 2 both in separate radicals, so that when I want to simplify this in the next line, we'll just give ourselves some space, that what I have is, I could say that this is x equals 2 plus or minus. I have i, and the square root of 16 is 4, and then I have square root of 2 divided by 2. So my first set of solutions here, I just divide each of these components by 2. I'm going to have 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus or minus, and think of this as 4i radical 2. So if I do 4i divided by 2, that's going to give us 2i square root of 2. So this is our first set of answers. But now what we have to do is we go back to this equation here, and we're going to set the other quadratic equal to 0 and solve. So now we're going to take this quadratic over here, and we'll change colors. We're going to solve. We have x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. So once again, here, uh, this isn't going to factor nicely. Like notice I just jumped into the quadratic formula for both of these because I don't have any two rational numbers that the product is negative 4 and the sum is negative 2. So what we have to do here is we're going to use the quadratic formula again. And negative b is going to be positive 2 plus or minus the square root of, and then we have negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 all divided by 2 times a, and the coefficient of our x squared term is 1. So now we just have to simplify things a bit. We have 2 plus or minus, and if we work out the square root, we have 4 plus 16, because we're going to have negative 4 times negative 4, and 4 plus 16 is 20, and we're dividing all of this by 2. So then from here, we just have to simplify this expression, and we're going to have x equals 2 plus or minus, and the square root of 20 if we work that out, the square root of 20 breaks down to the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. So this is going to become 2 square root of 5 because the square root of 4 is 2. So we have 2 square root of 5 all divided by 2. So this simplifies to x equals 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus or minus 2 divided by 2 cancels out, giving us just square root of 5. So here are all of our solutions to this equation. We could just write it as one superset here. We have 1 plus or minus 2i square root of 2, but we also have 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. 
Okay, well, this is going to conclude this video on solving equations for real and imaginary roots. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you got any requests, leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.